Hello Flutter developers, welcome to AstroDev's channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create your own AI chatbot with Flutter using Google Generative AI package known as Gemini. Before we start, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated. Let's get it started. First of all, you need to be using Flutter 3.19 as it is the lastest version of Flutter at the moment, which lets you to integrate the Gemini. Then you need to add the Google Generative AI package to your Flutter app, which you can find it on pop.dev's website. But as you can see, it needs an API key, which can be created using the link provided in here. And also we will need one more package, which is int L, so we can show the date of the message right below them. Now let's create a stateful widget for our view. I'm gonna name it chat screen. Then design it with an app bar and place a column inside the body, then set the main axis alignment that end. Next, you need to add a row and inside it, we place a text form field for our user to type the message. After that, we design it and give it a label. Then we can create an icon button, which will be used to send the message. Now you can place a spacer and wrap the text form field with expanded widget to align them more better. By the way, there are several other ways you can design them. And one last thing, wrap the whole thing with a padding widget, so we have a nice blank space from sides. After that, let's create a widget for our message boxes. The widget is gonna have two different styles based on whether it has been sent by the user or the AI bot. So just do a bit of designing in here by giving the container separated styles for user message and the bot message. You can show the text and the time for it like this. Now that we are done with the UI, let's bring our AI bot into the game. First, create a variable for your API key, which should be a static constant. Then create your basic AI model, which is Gemini Pro. You can learn more on it in the documentations. After that, we need to create a send message function, which takes the text written by the user from the text form field and sends it as a prompt to the AI bot for its answer. And now we need to show both user message and the AI model answers in those message boxes we created. For that, we need to create a message class and then create a list of message class items. Now we need to add the message from the user and the AI bot to the list. To show them in the UI, we need to create a list view.builder. Then set the item count to be as same as the length of our message list. After that, we use item builder to show each message. It can get more easy and quick. We are finally done. As you can see, we have created our personal AI chatbot using the lastest version of Flutter. Tell us in comments if you want to see more tutorials on this topic or if you have any idea or request for our next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks for watching and happy coding.